John, I just wanted to talk about if you go uh go a bit closer to this mic to this mic. Mm. That, oh that's that's that'll work. Um I've I've up, I've uploaded um a link through Twitter. There's a link to a world service um program, Business Matters. I've put a clip up there which I heard last night, which which reminded me of an earlier conversation we had. Um, it's about women in the States. Their, their employment levels are very high at the moment. And they think a reason for that is that working from home is, is more possible. After the lockdown, the kind of uh, technology that's available means that they can work at home and there, there are employers... Um, college educated women mostly so it's, it's a style of working that is possible at home and the arrangements are being made that work with that and I was reminded oh, I can't remember quite when it was a couple of months ago there was a suggestion that um, because of this technology in the UK um, people who are too ill to work could be working at home, but I don't remember any anything about um, how that was going to be made possible, any sort of training or support or guidance for employers or anything anything like that. Yeah, well, people on the long term sick, but the, if if that means the government can find sick people. Uh, jobs working from home in, in stable employment so they can come off benefits that is when that but I would expect to be earning enough to not need benefits but that that's not going to be the case because they still I expect people will still be claiming even if they even if they do work because you can claim up to a certain amount um, if you can only work three days a week or one day a week or two days a week it really depends on um, on 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 person's uh, illness or, or disability. Yeah, but have you come across any 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 sort of um, examples of where employ, no. employers have sort of set up situations? No, that... no, I haven't. No, ah. I saw um, a, I saw a woman on Good Morning Britain on Friday morning. That that uh, works in the uh, government cafes in 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 the House of Commons um, with Down syndrome. She does one day a week. Um, she's on some kind of back to work program, and that works for her. But like I said, it's only going to be a small minority. Yeah. Well, I just I just repeat that we put, we put, we've linked to this this. Uh, it's about a quarter of an hour. It's about a quarter of an hour. I mean, I, I I heard it on. I listen to the World Service when I'm when I can't go back to sleep, so I can't say that I've thoroughly understood it. Well, but um, put it put it this way: um, I personally don't like the government very much, um, as it goes. Uh, so um, they're very they're very conservative, um, and and I I don't agree with. Uh, with what they're doing over the last five years, ten years or so, they've been taking on a lot of disabled people about working um, and, and various things, and they've tightened, they've made it difficult, more difficult to claim um, disability benefits, and, and I, I don't necessarily agree with them. Agree with them. Um, I have to be shush, I have to be shaded on the radio, of course. Well, yeah, um, yeah. So we do. Could say, I, you know, I could say some things really about them. That I, well, I find them quite. I find I find them quite offensive and out of touch. Um, in out of touch with uh, re reality as it goes, um, because you know uh, it, it always. You know it's 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 um, quite a vicious circle when you've got a physical disability and. And a visual impairment, as such. So it's 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 because what work, what would work for a physical disability, e.g., working in an office, um, you know, on on the phone or on the computer or 
something um, you, you, you find if you have a, if you have a visual visual impairment on top of that, it kind of takes you out of a lot of opportunities, really. So, so um, yes. So uh, I I have a lot of I have a lot of questions for the government, really. That that's never been answered. They 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 just sit in the house of commons all day and coming up with these ideas. But like I've said before, they probably don't know how they're going to work a reality. Um, and sending and sending somebody like me down for the job centre every two weeks or something, um, and uh, and uh, forcing me to look for a job isn't probably the best way to go. And he, it's it's. He, because they sang, they they would sanction you in all sorts, and they would stop you. Yeah, so you've got to realise that 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 it's going to be a quite a, a quite a quite a way to go. But if the government can make it work. I I, I, I employed them, but I I don't I don't I, I I don't have much faith in them. No, no. Well, I can I can understand that, John, but um. By the way, and you know there are people who might disagree with you. As, as, as well, so, so I, they can, I, I, they can, actually, fight, they can. I'm I, just going to say they're welcome I, to phone in. I actually invite them to come forward. So if you, if anybody's listening, if anybody's listening who would like to actually tell me more about this, um, or tell me what what I've said wrong, I would love to hear from you. So feel free to call into the studio. I'd love to have a debate on air about it. But um, but what I John, I just I just sort of say again what I, what I noticed was that this from what I, from, as I said I was I wasn't entirely awake at what was it about quarter to two when I heard this but I I've I found the beginning and end of it and uploaded a clip to YouTube anyway and there is W E N O T N O will find a link to it but from what I understand of it um, in the United States and in Singapore there's enough people, especially college educated women, who are working partly from home or in some sort of manner that is changing the way work is organised. So there's enough employers who've, who've come to terms with it. And that's wonderful. So it was worth lo- it would be worth looking at. I'm not saying that it's a bad, a bad situation um, when, when if the if if the person doing the job, if the disabled person actually doing doing the job can actually do the job and hold it down and all the rest, of it. I'm not saying it's a bad. I'm not saying the government shouldn't do that. I'm just I'm I'm just saying in reality, I I I I, I wonder whether it'd be successful or not. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll we'll come back to this and anybody who's got ideas about it. Or but anybody who, information anybody anybody who has got ideas about it who 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 knows more than I do I would I would love you to come forward yeah um, so w e n o t n o on on Twitter but right now this is going to wake you all up because I'm going to play Ozzy Osbourne never going to stop. <laughs> 